Blow him up. This floor doesn't blow up, does it? No, it doesn't. Man, I'm sure glad I got all 50 bombs, because we're down to 48. Crazy! This room sucks. Oh, I hate this room. There goes five arrows that I'll never need, because I can carry 50. Ouch. I don't know what color I need that crystal to be. Nope, never mind, I do. I needed it to be that color. Don't hit me, Firebar! Excellent, made it through. Some magic. Some more magic. Alright. We are moving on. That's right, Hookshot kills these things in one hot, one hit. Okay. I was making life really difficult on myself in that one room, and I didn't need to. Hookshot kills penguins in one hit. Sounds obvious when you say it out loud like that, but, you know. Getting into that... Staircase in that room is the hardest thing in the game. The hardest thing in Link to the Past to get down that staircase in that room. We're going to go down here first. This fire bar is going to clip me. Nope. You know, let's go through this door. Let's go through this door right here. That that door is my jam. I'm a fun-loving contributing member to society. Coming up the other side here now. Yes. I don't have a key, so... Let's bomb that. Does this give me a key? It does. Didn't do me a lot of good, but it gave me a key. I opened a path that I could already have reached. It's just a little shortcut, that's all that was. Skeletonites need to die. Another one's gonna come down here any, any minute. Any minute. And they drop a bomb when you kill them, that's just... I mean, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Is there gonna be stuff hiding under this rock? Yep. Uh. I'm a rabbit! Just wasting everybody's time! Okay, we're good. Is that the map? I hope that's the map. Check out this tongue. Ugh! Statue monkey's tongue! There's a monster in Dragon Quest IV that that statue has always reminded me of. Just a monkey with a long tongue. That must be like a Japanese... Uh, mythological reference of some kind. This is probably the big key. And there we go. So now it's a matter of figuring out where we haven't been yet. That thing got me, and it shouldn't have... Probably have tried to catch that. That fairy in a jar. It'll matter a little less after I get the dungeon treasure in here. Alright, now I gotta examine the map. See where I need to go next. There's still quite a lot of dungeon left. We need to go to that big icy room down on B4. And then, oh, I just got zapped. I wasn't even trying to. I was not trying to hit the monster. I was trying to hit that switch. Nerd. Oh, I hate these things. I hate them so much. Also, didn't I already blow this floor up once? 
Why can't the floor just stay exploded? Like it has some goddamn self-respect. Skeleton Knights are back again. For their reunion tour. Already got 50 bombs, yo. Don't need another one. Like, this dungeon is designed for backtracking. Like, there's no other way to traverse the dungeon other than to backtrack through it a lot. Wait, the fire bar out here. Why did I do that? Asked Brick Road out loud to no one in particular. When I was trying to do that. There we go. Now I'm happy again. It's actually really not that difficult to stay on top of the magic. Here. Fire once left, then... Down, 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 down. Everybody gets infinite magic forever. I need to go... If I go to the left, I think I can get the dungeon treasure. If I can get into this... staircase here... without embarrassing myself for hours. Link. Link, please. Oh god. Oh god, it's happening. It's happening. <gasps> I made it! Oh my goodness. Hard part's over, guys. Hard part is over. We need bombos. No, we don't. We just jump down. We're good. Check out my sexy blue duds. Oh yeah. Yellow hat. Oh. Yeah, a little less excited about the yellow hat. Gotta be honest with you guys. Gotta be honest, a little bit less excited about that. So, here's the room. I hate this room. This is the room... ...that everybody gets wrong in this dungeon. Every time they play it. Whoa, I can't even fight this guy because there's electric eyes in the way. There we go. But don't worry, everything will be made clear shortly. Use that heart, thank you. Um, the idea is you have to come in here with the blue blocks down so you can push one of those blocks into the hole to the floor below where we could use it. That's the garbage way to do this room. We found a much better way to do it years and years ago. Which I think is objectively superior, and everybody I know who plays this game does it this way instead. Oh, I got tagged by that fire bar. Let me through the door, please. Look at this stupid room. Holy bananas. I forgot this room was even here. Nope, 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 made it! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm brilliant! <laughs> I am the best, I am the best ever. What do we have here? Another key. We got three of them now. So this takes us up into a room we haven't been to, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, we don't need to go in there. Okay. So, check the map. We've been in all the rooms. Everything is good. Everything is tasty. We're using up our keys. Various world governments are turning to us for support. In short, everything is coming up roses. Well, except for that part. That part was not rosy. There we go. 
Don't tag me, bro. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can go back in here. So, back to this puzzle then. The idea is you've got to come into this room with the blue switches down, so you can push one of these rocks into the hole, which obviously you've got to come from this direction, otherwise the yellow switches blah 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 blah, you're blocked from both ways. That all sucks a lot. And it's very difficult to get right, and nobody I know actually does it. This guy I want to catch. This guy I need to capture. Come here, you. There we go. Okay. So come into this room here. And this switch here, you can hold it down with the block that you pushed in from above. We'll deal with that in a second. There's this switch, which just kind of complicates matters. I'm a rabbit, 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 I'm a rabbit. Just picking these up out of curiosity. So, we're going to bypass the entire puzzle and ignore it. We're going to use the red cane. Spoiler alert, this is not how you're supposed to do it. Don't care. <laughs> we're just leaving. And now we're here. And there's nowhere else I'd rather be, quite frankly. See, this dungeon, in my opinion, is way more obnoxious than the water temple in Ocarina that everybody hates. That temple's wonderful. I love that temple. Oh, that's the that's the rock I've been waiting for the whole time with all the terrible stuff underneath it. God damn it. So we need to pull one of these out. Get behind it. Slap, slap. There's a hole. What's our map looking like? Oh, just the boss fight down there. Otherwise, we're done. We got all the treasures, right? Yep, we're good to go. Let's rock. I don't need the fire rod here, do I? I hope not. Otherwise, this is going to be a tricky fight. No, actually, Bamos works quite effectively. Usually, I use the fire rod in this fight to melt that ice, and it takes a bunch of shots, but this worked perfectly. And it's another eyeball monster. A lot of those in the Dark World. Eyeballs are apparently inherently evil. That, must, that might be another Japanese mythology thing, though. I'll be honest, everything I know about Japanese mythology, I learned from Suikoden, so... Basically nothing. Actually, they're kind of worm eyeballs. They've kind of run the gamut of Zelda bosses at this point. Nope, I'm not going to get hit again. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Told you. I told you. Oh, I can't bombos again. It won't let me. It won't let me bombos again. Why not? I guess because the boss fight was over, the game figures you can't bombos again. We're not going to. <sighs> Red heart containers. One and a half. I didn't need to use any fairies on this boss. I needed 14 fairies on the level 6 boss and zero fairies on the level 5 boss. Needless to say, as a kid, I got stuck in this dungeon running circles trying to figure out the correct combination of crystal switches and which path to take, and it drove me bananas. And then the second time I played the game, I was like, oh, I can just use the, the cane of Samaria here and just bypass that whole stupid puzzle. Which is perfect. I'm not complaining. I love the idea of being able to back route a puzzle. It's, it's great. But a lot of Zelda games don't have that kind of feature because they don't let you do the dungeons out of order. Which is bad. Because of the almighty plot which must be adhered to. You know what? I'm going to bummos this guy. Because I couldn't bummos that heart container down there. I'm going to bummos this animal right here. 
Boom! Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so, go check out patreon.com slash brickroad. See what I have to offer. I'm going to be back with some more... What, which one is this? Link to the... Link to the Awakening. That's what this is. We'll be back tomorrow.